Hi there, I'm Jeremy, part of the Atlas Copco Automation Investigation Unit. We're a crack team of trained professionals constantly seeking the truth in automation solutions and why they can help you. Here in the Atlas Copco Application Center, we're constantly solving problems with turnkey automated solutions. In this series, come along with us as we investigate what it takes to solve these different problems that arise in manufacturing by utilizing automation. Here we will be discussing how net torque can affect the robot's reach and capability. To understand this, we must first start with the basics. Net torque is the rotational force or moment about an axis. In the context of a robot arm like the UR10, net torque plays a crucial role in determining the sizing, reach, and accuracy. When torque is applied to the robot arm, each joint of the robot must react against these forces or moments through the joints, potentially affecting the robot's reach. In this case, you see a UR10 with two Atlas Copco QST tools running down at 10 Newton meters. The torque generated by the tools creates a resulting moment in the center that the robot must compensate for. The moment arm, or the distance between the axis of rotation and the point where the force is applied, also influences the net torque. A longer arm increases the overall effect, resulting in a higher net torque. It's important that we understand net torque and as it increases, how it plays into the accuracy and repeatability of a robot's movements. Just like a human would experience, excessive torque can cause joint strain, reducing accuracy, and potentially leading to safety concerns. Through testing, we see the further out the fastening takes place, the more influence it has on the robot. Net torque has a significant impact on automated solutions. Managing net torque through proper design, calibration, and programming is crucial for maintaining the robot's accuracy and safety. When you partner with Atlas Copco, you also get the insider access of our application center. This includes testing, feasibility, simulations, programming, and more. We are constantly investigating applications to expand our capabilities within fastening-centric automation. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, have a great day.